Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you, Taurus. Let's see. Taurus, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Entron of Note. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Okay, so let's see, Taurus. Let's see. Nature. Show me Taurus. Important messages for Taurus. Important messages for Taurus. Important messages for Taurus, please. Taurus. 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 Important messages for Taurus. Okay. So we have a new day. Limiting beliefs. Take a leap of faith. Curiosity. Step by step. There is a need for you to be patient. Taurus, something needs more time. Baby step, step by step as an overall energy. Don't rush into things. However, spirit wants you to kind of think outside the box. Please take it how it resonates. Okay, there is a need of change of perspective with regard to something or someone. Okay. There is something here I feel, Taurus, that you want to um, that you want to kind of do. You want to take, uh, you want to approach, you want you want to take an action towards something. You or, you know you want to kind of take a leap of faith with regards to essentially certain situation or person. You know. Someone here is spying on you with this curiosity card. Someone is very interested what's going on in your life. I'm getting equally Taurus that there is someone also that you might you have their eye on on them, you know? I need to say it because that's how I feel. It's like a mutual energy. Someone is very curious about you. They want to kind of uh, find out what's going on in your life, what you're up to. But um, I feel that equally um, there is all also someone here who you might be thinking about, who is on your mind, and who you might have, uh, you know, your eye on them. If you like someone here, Taurus, um, it's spirit here, it's kind of, you know, It's like, because I'm getting that it might be a case that, you know, you might be thinking about certain situation or person. And it's like, there is a need to think outside the box because something is limiting you. It's like you need to change perspective or kind of look at the situation from a different angle and maybe take this leap of faith, but not like with this kind of full energy just... Uh, for instance, full energy with the eight of wands is they just going for full, in, full in. No, slowly, you know, step by step. Something in it's kind of like a practical plan, but also there is a need for you to approach something differently or kind of think outside the box. I don't know why they say, maybe because I see box here. We have a new day, so it's like a new beginning, energy of new beginning. I'm getting very strongly, Taurus, that there might be someone here that you like very much. You are curious about them. And Spirit here is trying to encourage you to have a practical plan to, to um, if you are kind of anxious, how you're going to be uh, received by this person. You know what I mean? Something like this. It Spirit wants you to think outside the box, to take the leap of, leap of faith and kind of, 
maybe reach out or um, maybe be more optimistic but it is this also this energy to not rush in to kind of do it by step by step something like this is showing up for someone okay also i'm getting very strongly here taurus that if you need clarity about something uh, it's coming okay be uh, full of hope don't lose faith because uh, something very uh, slowly will unfold okay you're going it feels like you're going into uh, towards the right direction or you know in the right direction with the step by step a new day it's it's something about taking leap of faith uh, having a faith and hope not losing hope and and being optimistic about something to it's like um but doing it in a kind of um in a clever way you know not rushing in just step by step reading the room something like this but spirit wants you to kind of with this limited beliefs to not feel stuck okay spirit wants you to know that you are not stuck in a certain situation no no because this is just a mindset it might be case that someone convince you to think that way or you just think that 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 you know something here is making you feel trapped but it feels like no that's not the case okay with the curiosity and step by step there might be a need also for more information more clarity but this clarity is coming with the new day it's like you want something here but you have your reservations okay let's see let's see Taurus what do we have for you show me Taurus uh -huh. something is holding you back maybe this limiting beliefs here with 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 the card number 15 with the devil card you might be dealing with Capricorn Taurus like something it's making you feel stuck yeah nine of swords okay page of Pentacles six of Pentacles five of wands okay mm -hmm. it feels like there is a conflict Taurus or there is a tension between you and someone else or you had an argument with that individual we have the devil five of wands and a page of pentacles it's like a misunderstanding or someone it's very immature very childish but it feels like there is a tension and it might be case that indeed you know the limiting beliefs it's like you are stuck in your head something here doesn't make you happy that's for sure there is some sort of kind of a issue or problem and i feel it is um very much uh, kind of um it's like someone doesn't want to compromise someone someone doesn't doesn't meet you. it's like they don't want to meet you halfway it's this person is very controlling very argumentative and I'm getting quite harsh with their words. It might be case that you were getting some sort of kind of comments. It created tension and it's just, it makes you very kind of unhappy, I feel, on an emotional level. It's like someone is giving you headache or certain situation here. For some of you, Taurus, you might be stressing out because you have some sort of kind of a, you you're waiting on some some results maybe you are into into education maybe you are in college or university or you're taking a course with this page of 
pentacles and you are just stressing out you are stressing out and you are just not in a mood can be a case for some of you but it feels that you know things will be fine with the three of cups and you have a six of pentacles the nine of swords and a king of cups if, if that's the case this is very specific if this is a situation indeed that you are stressing out about the results or some sort of outcome here i'm getting that for instance if it's a college or university or some sort of program or cause course in order to upgrade your you know skill kind of a cv or some sort of kind of a course that will benefit your profession with the six of pentacles but i'm getting very strong university kind of vibe college or maybe you know someone, you know. With the Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, it's King of Cups. There is a, some sort of help or support, I should have said, support coming in. And at the end, it feels like, you know, you have someone here who is a very nice and who wants to help, who will be of help. And your outcome here for this mini spread is three of cups. So this is like a celebration, happiness, joy, you know, shared kind of a, a feeling of, 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 of happiness. So I see a very positive outcome with regards to this situation. So if you're stressing out about this particular matter, it feels that, you know, there is nothing really here to worry about because at the end you will have reasons to celebrate. Okay. But I'm also seeing a particular situation, people falling out or with each other, or there was uh, some sort of kind of conflict here. And it feels that this person is very stubborn. I need to say here, Taurus, it feels like both of you are quite stubborn. You know? I need to be honest. And equally, I feel that both of you would like to reconcile with each other or have a constructive conversation because that situation might make you feel, both of you feel quite tired. I feel that uh, you Taurus trying to go, you know, it's business as usual, like every day you're trying to do things, you know, going to work or, you know, just, just focusing on the, on like a, it's a new day, right? It's focusing on, a, on responsibilities, but there is always this kind of thought at the back of your head that, that this thing is there. It's like a kind of cloud hanging out over your head that conflict or tension between you and that person but you are dealing here with someone who's very controlling who's very stubborn but stubborn to the point that they don't really don't want to change their mind this is a very immature energy you might be dealing here with someone who's a bit younger than you it's like they don't they don't they don't they, It's my way or no way attitude, kind of. And it can be a person of a romantic interest, of course, but it can be also, for instance, a relative, family member, friend, colleague. Please take it how it resonates. Nevertheless, I can tell you here, Taurus, that it seems that there will be a reconciliation with the Three of Cups, because that's also a card of reconcili re reconciliation, reunions, Re you, you you will have a chance to reconnect with this person make amends mm -hmm. it's like there is a need to be honest because king of cups as much as he represents emotions with the next to the five of wands and six of pentacles it's like there is a need to be honest honesty here is a key Okay, you have someone in your close related environment who has very good intentions towards you. Who is there to help you, to, to provide you with a good kind of um, advice? Let's say it that way. Okay, show me the past for Taurus. We have Eight of Pentacles. Show me the past for Taurus. 
showing you guys the Taurus and the Page of Cups. Page of Swords. Magician. I feel Taurus that for some of you, you met someone at work in the past and this person really kind of expressed their interest towards you. With the Page of Cups, I feel that, you know, uh, there were moments, um, it might be a case that they, that uh, you were going out with this person, you know, after work, having a drink or just spend some time with the Page of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who kind of was really interested in you, really interested with the Page of Swords. I feel they just kind of, you know, this is a card of curiosity and we have this card here as well but there's this this page of sorted showing showing up here in your past so i'm getting eight of pentacles someone from your work or someone something to do with the thing you do like like a routine thing involving money um therefore work i'm getting very strong work And this person here really expressed their interest towards you. With the magician, uh, they charm you. You know, you might be dealing with Virgo, Gemini. They did charm you here. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Swords. Nine of Wands. Mm -hmm. this is the step-by-step -step energy so i'm seeing here maybe taurus we have a strong cross-water energy actually because we have curiosity step-by-step -step. take a leap of faith we can do with the magician mm -hmm. new day we have very strong cross-water energy showing up here for Taurus, okay? There is this person from the past that it's showing up. It's very much present in your current energy. I feel that they really kind of express their interest here. With the magician, they really charmed you. And I feel that they were very skillful what they were doing because I'm getting this energy of giving you lots of interest, but then taking a step back. It's like um, keeping your interest that way, you know, with the Four of Swords, Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. I feel that was, uh, you were involved with, with this person for some time here. Taurus with this Knight of Pentacles. It looks to me it might have been like a casual dating. And actually, you know, this person here it was giving you like a mixed signals. It's like a casual situation here with the Four of Swords and with the Nine of Wands, it's like this person, you didn't trust this person's intention at the end because they didn't give you anything of, 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 a, of an essence of value with regards to this connection. They were very interested in you. And I'm getting very strongly that this person is still very interested in you. This is someone connected with your workplace. Or maybe even with school or something like this. Please take it how it resonates. But Eight of Pentacles, it's the workplace. Page of Cups, it's like, a, you know, going out for a drink, uh, conversing, having, you know, exchange of communication. But this is like a, a context of this is, is uh, invo it, it, it involves emotions. Okay. So some sort of kind of energy of flirting I'm getting. Page of Source, that's this curiosity. 
someone who's very curious, who who express their curiosity, they have their eye on you, you know, they, they, they really kind of trying uh, to uh, gain your interest. Therefore, I feel that this person was giving you lots of attention. With the magician, they tried to manifest you. And this is someone who is very skillful with their words. They charm you here. And I feel the situation has been for a long time with the Knight of Pentacles. But it never really kind of had a chance to kind of move into the next level. It's with the Four of Swords, it's like there was a withdrawal. And then with the Nine of Wands, I feel this, this person gave you a headache. It's not what you were expecting. Something here didn't fully manifest. To, in, if we're talking about relationship. Because I see here a romantic situation. You know how it is when there, there are people, they're meeting at work, they are flirty, you know, or they are going out for a drink, or even after work there is some sort of kind of casual situation going on. But it's, it's, I feel that you charmed, I get a charming energy with the magician. And I feel like this person was giving you a mixed signals. It was like a one, if they took a step, two steps uh, forward, there was uh, like a four steps back because this is like a back and forward energy, especially with the Four of Swords and Magician. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it, 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 it was like this energy, you were in that kind of dynamics for a long time. The thing is that you have a Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, oh, you see, there you go. You can't make this up. This is someone who's showing up in your energy, Taurus. I have also very strong cross-water energy for Taurus. But um, but this is someone who wants to come back, Taurus. Six of Cups. This is energy from the past. This is someone who you know you have a history of this individual. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Charmer. Male, female. Please take it how it resonates. Mm -hmm. They're coming with some sort of message. That's why I was getting that it's also day energy. You'll hear from this person. They are very nostalgic about you. Yes, you know this person. And they want to come back, Six of Cups. Major energy from the past that wants to resurface again. Show me a near future, please. Show me near future for Taurus. Show me near future for Taurus. Seven of Cups. Choices, decisions. Options. Ten of Wands. Yeah. Future for Taurus. Okay. Can it be a case, Taurus, that you would choose being single? Actually, two of pentacles choice. That's what I said. That's your energy. Yeah, I'm seeing here, Taurus, that um, you, you have options in love, especially I'm getting with the seven of cups. And many people are interested in you. It doesn't mean that you are interested in those people, but, but uh, people find you incredibly attractive and you have many admirers here. But what I'm seeing that at the end of the day, I don't feel that at the moment, and that's very specific, it might not resonate with all of you. It's like you want peace and quiet. Because something here has been particularly difficult, draining, tiring, and you are about to, to kind of release some sort of form of a burden, something that's been, you know, constantly on your mind that you feel that you have to take care of. That thing you are releasing here and nine of pentacles is this energy of independence and feeling kind of, you know, um, metaphorically saying free. 
uh, doing what you want and kind of enjoying time by your own because this is uh, energy of independence very self-sufficient and also in the readings it also represents someone who is single and who doesn't mind being single at the end of the day we have your energy here with the knight uh, sorry with the king of pentacles you might be dealing with also capricorn another taurus and um, Virgo and then we have ending I feel that very soon Taurus you will release something something that you've been involved for a very very long time and something that's also been bringing enormous amount of confusion and you feeling stuck but there is this sense of releasing this once and for all and actually with the nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles you will feel really kind of happy but this is an energy very self-sufficient energy just being happy in your own company just enjoying yourself enjoying this time you know also with the nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles this is like being in a very good uh, financial position meaning you will have more you know more to spend it's not from first to the first of another you know first of one month to the first of another uh, month it's like having more having more financial freedom enjoying this this opportunity to have more it's like you will have more money and 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 um you will just treat yourself with something very nice and good for you taurus absolutely we have a two of pen two of pentacles mm -hmm. it's i feel that for a long time you had to kind of be very flexible you had to juggle two situations maybe you know uh, there was a there there is a or there was a matter that uh, it, i feel that you wanted to to direct your focus on something here and to be fully focused on this but there was another situation that required you being flexible therefore dividing your focus on this thing and giving equal attention to that to to another thing and for now i feel that you will whatever that is i feel that you will have opportunity and actually you will be able to fo to direct your focus only on one thing because you are releasing something here that's been very 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 um draining and quite emotionally exhausting okay and that will allow you to focus on one thing because with the seven of cups it's yeah it's it's like it can be i see here two things but with the seven of cups it might be many things you know you might be very very busy you might be a person who has so many responsibilities and have a lot on their plate but i'm seeing you releasing this burden this exhaustion that might be caused by 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 a need for you to be flexible and actually i'm sorry it's my belly <laughs> and actually it you will be able to direct your focus on this one thing focus on your goal so this is quite nice actually show me love life could you please show me love life for taurus we have a ten of cups very beautiful okay we have so many cards wow we have a three of cups we have the emperor we have justice we have three of pentacles we have card number 13 the world and the star i have very strong aquarius energy taurus the lovers at the bottom of the deck oh my gosh so the taurus i i I see reconciliation here for some of you. Ten of Cups to the Three of Cups. Happy relationship, Three of Cups. 
enjoying time together the emperor divine masculine male female please take it how it resonates but someone who's reliable with the justice libra energy aries energy i have scorpio i have aquarius energy i also have gemini energy leo and not a taurus so we have many signs something here will be clarified there is a justice next to the three of pentacles wow. taurus what i am seeing here is this person from your workplace okay i don't know what happened there maybe for some of you you married someone from your workplace it's very specific it doesn't have to be or you had plans maybe children are involved but what i'm seeing here taurus is that this person irrespective of what sort of situation might be i'm seeing this person particularly involved from your workplace wanting to make amends this is someone who wants to be with you who wants stability they want relationship Taurus but for some of you mm, here's the thing for some of you it, it this this thing ended something ended between the two of you and we have the world this is very interesting and then the star for some of you there is very important person uh, and you this this person might be Aquarius or the or it's a fixed sign this is very specific and I feel that you know it's it's you feel a very strong soul connection here with this individual with this it might be Aquarius or they have heavy placements in Aquarius or Gemini what I'm seeing here Tor is that someone feels unfinished business with you you might be seeing it in a different way okay but this person from your workplace or someone who's involved with some sort of finances or something like this please take it how it resonates feels unfinished business with you they do they want to heal this connection okay with the star because it's a major healing card and overall energy for this spread is the lovers they want to be with you that's it they love you they want to be with you you are their soulmate that's how they see the situation but i'm seeing taurus also someone here someone else someone else and and um and this is a very strong fixed energy complex complex situation that is and i feel that you feel very strong soul connection with this person but it's like you are not in touch This is a fixed energy. It might be Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, another Taurus, or Gemini. I'm sorry, this is my belly. <laughs> but um, I feel, Taurus, that you think about someone. Okay? This is what I am getting. You think about someone. Someone there is a distance between the two of you with the world physical distance it might be someone who lives even in a different country or different state different province city but you equally have someone with whom you have a history with they are showing up in your reading and now they are show they showed th this person showed up in your past and now they are showing up in your love life it's like they want they feel unfinished business with you they want to be in a relationship with you or they want to reconcile with you but equally there is also someone else Aquarius. oh you see aquarius i said <laughs> oh my gosh maybe you indeed dealing with aquarius taurus I have very strong cross-water energy for this reading as well showing up 
and you know you're thinking about this other person but it's like something as well ended between the two of you this is someone who is there is a distance with the world between the two of you and I feel that there is a sense of understanding that something ended you know but there is also this kind of a wish to be with this individual you have quite strong telepathic um, connection with this individual with the star telep 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 telepathy right that's how you pronounce it sorry if I make mistake but you know what I mean there is a, a connection on the 5d With, the reconciliation is very much possible between the two of you it's either way I'm seeing you um, coming it's like coming back together being together with the lovers this is you think about someone Taurus you think about someone you think about someone cross watcher my gosh very strong cross watchers showing up it's quite extraordinary for Taurus but y there is someone as well someone else that you might be thinking about I'm getting a oh, very strong energy and you wish to be with this person I feel that feeling it's 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 mutual you know but this is also someone who you might know okay show me the outcome for the near future show me the outcome for the near future mm. show me the outcome for the near future the energy maybe it's because it's mercury retrograde it's very chaotic show me the outcome for the near future for Taurus you have two of swords being at the crossroads however taking action wow why the tower strength the moon okay king of wands you might be dealing with Pisces I have very strong Aries Scorpio energy Leo Cancerian energy with the chariot as well Taurus it feels like you know I'm getting someone's energy someone here is at the crossroads but they will take an action you can expect the unexpected I know it's very cliche <laughs> but with chariot with the tower I'm getting that very soon something here uh, will manifest and it will be quite shocking quite unexpected I see strong internet energy with the moon with the strength yeah this is um it's quite significant I'm getting someone here will take an action Taurus and it will be very unexpected okay I'm also seeing uh, someone having problems with their car or with their vehicle or bike okay maybe it's worth a kind of um checking something like this is showing up as well for someone it's like this vehicle mm, at the crossroads kind of you know this is very kind of everyday stuff right but um it's like a broke down or something like this maybe it's mu something it's it's worth checking uh with the vehicle okay i like checking essentially but overall i'm seeing here being someone very determined taurus they want to take an action it feels taurus that you will be maybe you'll be at the crossroads after all you know you will have to make a decision make a decision take your time don't rush don't rush but i'm seeing someone making decision to take an action to reach out someone someone here wants to chase you Taurus 
someone wants to chase you and why i'm getting that you want to chase someone as well in a sense not chase as a chase just to be in touch with someone okay maybe i said it wrongly then i apologize but um it's like there is someone on your mind doris you like someone you would like to be with someone on a different terms but equally i'm getting someone here will take an action it's a very chaotic read and i do apologize maybe because of the energy of the cross watchers um because it's a mix of energy also mercury retrograde doesn't help i feel us readers in general with readings but i hope that you know you will find uh, uh this reading helpful so please take what resonates and how it resonates for you, for your situation, my dear Taurus. But someone here will, will take an action. At the moment, they're at the crossroads, mm, not knowing what to do. But uh, in your outcome, we have them taking an action because this is a very action orientated and it will be quite unexpected. So therefore, it might be a case that you will receive a message as simple as that through internet. I'm getting internet. Mm -hmm. through internet it's like someone will reach out and you don't expect this and I feel that you know uh, this is someone who has a tendency to hold back with the strength they want to appear that they have this situation under control mm -hmm. this is someone who has a tendency to be very mysterious but it's like they want to be in control, but at the same time, they really want to reach out. That sort of kind of energy, maybe someone very proud, maybe someone has big ego, but um, this person has a tendency to hold back, but they are very, very motivated. They really want this. So you can expect that something here, someone here will take an action. They will reach out and it will be very unexpected. Okay. Taurus, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you so, so very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.